whose reports do you believe? You shall believe the report of the Lord. Stop whining, bro. I'm coming over here. I'm, I'm coming to you in a minute. I want to take it slow. Just want to let you know. Ready to spend some time. I want to spend some time. Hey y'all, welcome back to another vlog. It's your girl Jennifer, also known as the Jennifer Monique. If this is your first time, welcome. If it's not, welcome back, y'all. So I just got back from TJ Maxx. I did not take you guys, uh-oh. I did not take you guys in there. Cause actually I wasn't even gonna go. I had went to the doctor and then after I was like, whose report do you believe? You shall believe the report of the Lord. If you know, you know. So then I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go do a little shopping. So I ended up going to TJ Maxx and I picked up a few things. So I'm gonna go over this like small haul with you. I did pick up two mirrors. They're um in there, but I'll get them in a second. So they were putting all their stuff out. Today's um Thursday, April 25th, so they were putting all their stuff out. So I was like super excited. They had so many cute things. So I ended up purchasing these two candles. So these candles are supposed to be Gard Gardena, Gardena, made with natural essential oils. Supposed to inspire from the California coast. They do not have the notes on here, but it gives me like a light spring smell. So it's not like really, really um, strong, which is gonna be good. So I ended up getting two of those. They give me like a light, yeah, light spring spell. spell. But I always get like the sandal plus fog every time I go to like TJ Maxx and Marshalls, and they're really good. So then I picked up Hubby this cup. Y'all remember I told you in one of the vlogs that I was looking for like that Doodle Mom cup and I've still been going to TJ Maxx every day, not every day, once a week and I still haven't found it. But I found a husband this cup right here. It says dad dog and has the paw on the back. I thought it was so cute, even though they didn't have one for me and it was actually only $5.99. And I'm picking up Buddy some treats. I spent so much time in there because I wanted to read the ingredients. But they had these sweet potato fries. Buddy wouldn't even eat these. He actually just played with them, so I ended up giving them away. Dog treats, and the only ingredient is sweet potato. So that's good. Then we usually buy these brand right here. The blue brand, Brew Buffalo, for all his treats anyway, because they usually have like one ingredient, and then it's natural ingredients too, and then all the ingredients I can pronounce. So I ended up picking up these and I got them in chicken flavor because it's foods and chicken. So we haven't introduced them to anything else. Then the last thing we picked up are these Spot Farmers Training Bites, organic chicken. So they're training bites. So I ended up picking up these and of course I had to read the ingredients, all the ingredients. So it had chicken, sugar, flaxseed, celery, skim milk, paprika, salt, hickory smoke, and rosemary. Everything that I can pronounce. So I ended up picking up this Lick Mac. I liked it because it is dishwasher safe, it is non-slip, and you can like stick it to the bathtub when you're giving them the bath, put a little peanut butter or whatever in there, and it'll distract them as well as you can put their food in here, and it'll just slow their food down. So let me just show you guys the mirrors real quick. All right, guys, so here is the mirror here. Never mind my background over there, but drying pants that I don't put in the dryer. But here is the mirror. You know we had the big one like this one, but I thought this one would be really cute to put in our guest bedroom. It was only $60 here, but I just thought it was really cute. So this is the picture. It'd be really cute in the bathroom. I mean, excuse me, bedroom. And then this is the other one. So here is the other one. It is a 24, why am I saying like that? <laughs> but here's the other one. It is a 24 by 36 arch mirror. It's the half mirror. It was $34.99. $34.99 so I'm thinking I'm going to replace this mirror here because I've had this mirror for a very long time so I'm thinking about replacing this one and taking those down because honestly I never put candles in them and they're kind of old so I want to replace these and probably end up replacing this stand too but I haven't found a stand and then the big mirror that I was talking about that we have is this one right here this is the bigger mirror that we got from Wayfair so I like this one here now hear me out i'm thinking it's taking this picture down and actually getting like these mirrors but like the square ones and putting three up here but then i was like that may be too many mirrors like i have three here and then that one so i don't know i gotta figure that out but y'all let me know what you think and of course we're drying clothes like i don't put this in the dryer so i just lay here till it dries so that's why they're there but anyway that's something that's the big mirror and i'm thinking about replacing them i just don't know maybe too many mirrors because then right across from that is the entry and i know i want to replace this mirror so i'm thinking about taking this mirror down and eventually replacing this too something like 
I don't know. Let me know what you think. Okay, change of plan. So I just took all this down here. It was like three shelves sitting up there. I'm actually gonna put the big mirror up there, but I need to fill in the holes that, um, in that little mark right there, but these little holes here, where the, wherever these things called, these shelves were on, and I'm actually gonna put the long mirror there. So, babe, you gonna be able to put the mirror up today? Huh? You gonna put the mirror up today? You think I'm gonna be able to put the mirror up today? No. No? Oh, how long it take for the putties to dry? Okay. So I hope I'll be able to go ahead and put it up today. The tall mirror. But I just gotta fill up my holes, y'all. I don't know if y'all see them. Like some right in this area up here, up there. Up top. So that's what we about to do. Stir up the kids. about to do a little training so my husband told me yesterday I really need to clean y'all but my husband told me yesterday that we don't do enough training with Patty and so I'm gonna do my part okay so if you're watching this I have an hour before I go to work and guess what I'm getting ready to do look at your pup No. 
That's a good, uh, 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 lay down. You almost had it. Lay down. Good boy. Yes, my good boy right there. That's a good boy. Lay down. Yo, I literally take this piece and I literally just break off pieces really small so he can eat them. So you won't eat them. He'll eat the whole thing. Lay down. That's a good boy. So at this point, I'm just trying to get him to learn. Lay down. We haven't made it to stay yet. But I read in watched the video that if you give them more treats while they're stay they're in the position that you want them to be in. They're learning that if they stay in that position, they will get more treats. So, we're just trying to teach him lay down. He has sit together, but something about lay down, he be acting like he don't really comprehend. I told him, you are you are 75% poodle and 25% retriever. You supposed to be smart. Not at the lather end of the swimming pool or whatever it says on Lion King. I'm afraid I'm at the shallow end of the dream pool. Tell him, say hi. Tell him, my name is Betty. And no, and I'm learning. So y'all be patient with me and pray for my mom. Yeah, pray for my mom because she's also learning and she's also being patient because my name is Bud.